Okay, question number five. Below are two linear equations. Are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? How do you know? Well, if we have parallel lines, that means the slopes are the same. If we have perpendicular lines, that means that we are looking at a negative reciprocal slope. So that would be denominator goes up, numerator comes down, and the sign changes. So either from positive to negative or from negative to positive. If we don't have this or this, then we would have the answer is neither. Okay, so if I look at A, I should be able to see the slope pretty clearly. I just need to solve for Y. So I can just add two to both sides, and for A, I get Y equals 4 fifths times X plus four, that says go left four, and then I added two to both sides plus two. So that goes up, says go up two. And this gives us the line in point slope form. So now we'll come to B, and we need to solve this for Y, so let's subtract 5X from both sides. So we get 4Y equals negative 5X minus 20, and then we'll divide by 4. Make sure we divide both terms by 4. And we get y equals, this is negative 5 fourths times x. Then negative 20 divided by 4, that's minus 5. So there are two lines. And we see that 4 fifths and negative 5 fourths have the opposite reciprocal relationship. So A and B are perpendicular because their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Cool. Now, Next question, which line has a steeper slope, A or B, how do you know? So the slope of A equals 4 fifths, that's up 4 as you go right 5. The slope of B is negative 5 fourths, that's down 5 as you go right 4. So what we do is we compare the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 5 fourths compared to the absolute value of 4 fifths. So the absolute value of 5 fourths is, uh, of negative 5 fourths is 5 fourths. This is 1.25. Then the absolute value of 4 fifths is 4 fifths. This is 0 0.8. And we would say that 1.25 is greater than 0 0.8. So we would say that B is steeper. So I'm gonna write this over here in the margin. B is steeper because the absolute value of its slope is greater. Shout out to Kamisha for being able to explain this on uh, an exit ticket. And shout out to Deanna for the way that she said that B would have a more dramatic vertical change. Okay, question six. Line P is perpendicular to Q. So what kind of slope relationship are we looking for? We're looking for opposite reciprocal, where the equation of Q is 4x minus 6y equals 24. Line P also passes through a certain coordinate that we'll look at in a second. Determine the equation of P in slope-intercept 
form. So then our final answer needs to be P, Y equals MX plus B. Make sure it's in slope intercept form. Now from here, let's figure out what the slope of Q is so then we could go find the slope of P. So we have a lot of steps left. Here we go. It's going to take up all of this space. All right. So let's uh, subtract 4X from both sides. Get 6Y equals negative 4X plus 24. Then let's divide by 6. So for Q, we are getting y equals negative 4 6 x or negative 2 thirds x plus 4. So now we see the slope of q is negative 2 thirds. So then we can take this negative 2 thirds and now Q is perpendicular to P, so now we need to do the flip. So negative go to positive, and then 2 over 3 go to 3 over 2. So slope of P is 3 over 2. So now with P we'll say Y equals 3 over 2. And now let's bring this coordinate in. This says go left 2 and up 5. So to go left 2, we're looking at x plus 2, then up 5. We're almost done. Now we have our line P in point slope form, but we need to finish here in mx plus b. So now we need to distribute 3 halves. So we have 3 halves times x, so that's y equals 3 over 2x. Then we have 3 halves times 2, that's 6 over 2, that's 3. Again, this times this is 3, and then plus 5 more, so this is plus 8. You've done it!